Now, your exclusive Storm Team forecast from KTVO. Well, it was a hot one today. Right now, 96 degrees at the Kirksville Regional Airport. That's what we topped out here at the station. But some locations, I know Atlanta came in at 100 degrees today. Very hot out there. Winds are out of the southeast at 7 miles per hour, so really not helping very much to try to keep us cool. Uh, humidity levels 22%, dew point 52. Atumwa coming in at 93 degrees with a lot of sunshine. Winds are out of the south at 7 miles per hour. Humidity levels 30%, dew point 57. Again, we did see a beautiful day. Sunny skies, though, on the hot side. So hopefully if you worked outside, you took some breaks and got inside where at least a fan was going or some air conditioning because even for this evening, it is going to continue to be on the warm side. Overnight lows around 66 degrees, another mild night with mostly clear skies. Winds are out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. A little bit cooler as we're heading into Friday. Uh, we could see more sunshine, especially in southeast Iowa. Uh, really depend on the remnants of, of Hurricane Isaac on exactly when it's coming in. Right now we could see it starting into the afternoon, late afternoon, early evening hours. 86 degrees, we'll start to see an increase in cloud cover in the afternoon. Uh, winds are out of the southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Well, it will be a very warm day if you're heading out to, to start your Labor Day festivities. Uh, Labor Day festival going on at the Jimmy Jones Shelter in Ottumwa. Tomorrow starts at noontime. So, one, you're probably going to need your sunglasses. And I would suggest on taking your umbrella just in case that rain kind of moves in a little bit earlier into southeast Iowa. So, better be prepared than not uh, as we're heading into the future cast right at six o'clock again a lot of the activity is going to start in the southern portions of our viewing area and then continue to spread north as this low pressure system moves around and moves uh, more north and east as the projected path right now. Uh, Saturday at 3 in the morning starting to get some more heavier rain and this is going to continue to increase as we're heading to the overnight hours as well as during the day on Saturday and Saturday evening around 6 o'clock still hanging on with some heavier rainfall. For tomorrow night, overnight lows around 69 degrees. Here comes the heavy rain moving in starting tomorrow night. Southeast winds around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Let's put this in. This is one of the models that we're looking at as far as how much precipitation we're expected here right now through Sunday. We're exposed to get uh, one to two inches in southeast Iowa, two to three inches of rainfall in northeast Missouri, a little bit higher amounts, especially into the southern portions of our viewing area like Macon County. So again, we are going to see some localized flooding if we do get that much rain. So if you're out and about this weekend, just be careful on that, especially if you're out camping this holiday weekend. 80 degrees on Saturday, much cooler, 80% chance of rain, heavy at times. 68 as your overnight low Saturday night. Sunday, uh, we'll start to see the rain chances diminish and move out of our area. 85 degrees, back up to 88 on Monday for Labor Day. Of course, you can get your forecast 24-7 at heartlandconnection.com. Heavy rain going to be moving in for the weekend. We need it. We do need it. All right, thanks, Teresa. Coming up in sports.